the you've really moved to this idea of the multimodal assistant, yep. whereas we think of the voice assistants as being headless and just you know, talk and they talk back. But it seems like the evolution right now is that you can ask it what you want in natural language, and then it's going to respond to you in the appropriate way. And sometimes that's by speaking back to you. Sometimes it's by just displaying something on the screen. Sometimes it might be just like executing a command inside the car. That's right. So the assistants in the past were very reactive, right? So you will say, hey, Mercedes, hey, BMW, um, and they'll, they'll, they'll invoke and uh, they'll answer your question. The assistants now are much more, uh, I would say, proactive in the nature because they have access to the information. And using AI, you can make certain decisions on when uh, the person needs to be engaged in a conversation. So they could actually start a conversation as a part of that. Uh, it could be as simple as, uh, let's say, as I said before, you didn't stop at a stop sign long enough. So the assistant could invoke itself and say, hey, uh, probably at this and this stop sign, you should stop uh, a little bit longer, right, to be a safer driver. Now, if the, the driver at that time, let's say, is on a phone call um, or is engaged in some other, other thing, the assistant could actually queue it up. So next time um, uh, when you're free, it could then um, bring it up uh, as a part of other conversation and say, hey, at this and this intersection and this and this date and time, um, you could have probably stopped longer than one second. Right. So so that's where uh, the technology is going, where um, it adds the not only adds on one side, the expressions uh, uh, to, to seem more natural and human, but at the same time uh, invokes itself proactively uh, when needed.